In this decomposition reaction, we have N2O5 decomposing into NO2 plus O2. Let's count the atoms up on each side and then balance the equation. We have two nitrogens and five oxygens. On the product side, we have one nitrogen and two oxygens, and we have these two oxygens here. So let's put a two there. Two plus two, that gives us four. Let's balance the nitrogens first. It's usually helpful to leave the oxygens until last. So I need two on both sides. Let's put a coefficient of two right here. One times two, that gives us two. Those are balanced. Let's update our oxygens. We have two times two, that's four. Plus we have the two here, that gives us six. So we've got a bit of a problem here. Why don't we get this to an even number? When I have an odd number of oxygens, I like to get that to be an even number. So I'm gonna multiply it by two. I'll put a coefficient of two here, five times two. That'll give me 10 oxygens. And then for the nitrogens, two times two, that'll give me four. Looks like we should maybe change this coefficient here so that we get four nitrogens. So I put a coefficient of four in front of the NO2, and let's update this. Now I have the one times the four. I have four nitrogen atoms, and I need to update my oxygens again. So I have two times four, that's eight, plus these two here, and that works out because we have 10 here on the reactant side. So this equation, it's balanced. Everything's the same on both sides. Trick here, it's usually good to leave the oxygens till last. And then if you have an odd number, get that to be an even number. Things often work out. This is Dr. B with the decomposition reaction of N2O5, dinitrogen pentoxide. Thanks for watching.